Joining me today here in Singapore is Tony Tan from D Squared, and we're taking a closer look at printing in manufacturing. Tony, thanks for joining me. Thank you, Andrew. Now, printing and manufacturing is imperative. Can you please tell me how printing is being used in the manufacturing process? In fact, the, uh, the very first stage of manufacturing is where you put a label onto a, a, a product. For example, printed circuit board. All right? so, as a label being put on the product, as it flow through the manufacturing process, that's where all the track and trace data collection process begin. And, and this is a very important part of the manufacturing process because through this data collected, the manufacturer can then able to improve the, the quality of the product, they're able to do a continuous improvement of the process, and in so doing, able to make a product more reliable. There are many different types of labels in the manufacturing process. You know, mm -hmm. Small labels, large labels, mm -hmm. labels that need to last a long time. How is Zebra range placed in supporting those differences in manufacturing? Uh, Zebra has a, a very wide range of supply. You know, like, like what you just said, uh, for example, from a very small high temperature label for the printed circuit board uh, to a uh, electronic you know, ESD safe uh, label for the electronic manufacturing. Uh, down to a, uh, a shipping label, 4x6 shipping label. So, uh, no, technically, printing is very application driven. So, match using the right supply for the right application is crucial uh, in, uh, in manufacturing. There are a lot of different printers and consumable types out in the marketplace that Zebra offer. What do you recommend to your manufacturing customers when it comes to selecting the right printer and consumables? Well, first of all, the, uh, the customer have to uh, uh, understand uh, what kind of application they intend to use a printer for. So to me, the first most important thing is in the application. So selecting the right printer for the right application is crucial. And after that, what you have to look at is that in today, uh, manufacturing 4.0, having a printer that able to connected up to the, uh, the internet is also become very critical. So I think having the right application, select printer to suit the right application, and then look for printer that able to give you feature that allow you to more like future proof to get into the, uh, the manufacturing 4.0 environment. The manufacturing process really does rely on printers. If the printers aren't working, then the process stops. So what do you recommend manufacturing organizations need to do to maximize uptime? Well, first of all, the uh, customer has to uh, uh, pick a, the right printer for the right application. And next, uh, working closely with the partners, coming out with a, a proper maintenance program. We're coming into the era of IoT devices, and that's also coming into the printer space, with Zebra printers having the ability to be connected to the internet now. What role will that play in maximizing uptime of printers in the manufacturing uh, sector? In, in today's manufacturing 4.0 environment, you know, with, with, with Zebra, with the, with the Lingo S uh, uh, capability, now we are able to connect the printer up to the cloud. And, and with that, uh, we can remotely monitor the print supply usage statistics. We are able to uh, use that to monitor the, the printer performance. So with all this data collected, uh, 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 we can then able to schedule a, a proper maintenance and to maximize the printer uptime. Tony, tell me a little bit about D Squared. Well, D Squared is in the data input automation business. We help customers across Southeast Asia in generating, collecting and harvesting data and helping them make better business decisions every day.